I'm a professional bodybuilder. So basically that means I competitively diet for a living. I know, crazy, right? In order to get show ready lean, bodybuilders typically have to take their lifting, cardio, and diet to the extreme. I've been depleting for my second pro show for quite some time now because the ultimate goal for a bodybuilder is to lose fat and maintain muscle. So in today's video, I'm taking you through a full day of eating and supplements because your girl got a refeed day. Today we're doing a full what I eat in a day and supplements as well. Before we get started on this video, I want to put a huge disclaimer out that I typically don't, I haven't done a what I eat in a day in a very long time. And the reason being is because I remember what I was like when I was a young girl in this industry. I'm still young, obviously, but I would go to YouTubers pages that I liked their physiques and I wanted to look like them or be like them. And I would look at their what I eat in a days and I would think if I eat exactly what they're eating, I'm going to end up looking like them, which is not the case. All of our bodies are different. We all require different nutrients, different macronutrient breakdowns. We respond different to foods. And then there's also the thing that I'm on bodybuilding prep. Prep is in in intense. It is not sustainable, it's not healthy, it's extreme. I've told you guys this on my channel plenty of times, and the reason that I want to make that very clear is that what I'm eating today is that. It might seem different, it might seem like a little amount, but today is actually a refeed day, so I get more calories than I would normally, and I'm gonna take you guys along the entire journey. So just keep that in mind when you're watching this, what I eat in a day. It's more so that you guys can kind of get an idea of how these refeeds work and what kind of foods that I'm having for inspiration, but not to copy because we are all different. I'm a professional bodybuilder. I've been doing this for years and we're different. We're different, okay? So just don't take anything to heart and um, I'm just gonna let you know what we're eating. So first, sip of coffee. Now, oh, that burned. Was it hot? It was real hot. <laughs> I'm actually going to use my good blender this morning instead of my crappy blender. Don't look at me hovered over like a gremlin in the corner. So basically, if you guys are in the VIP section, if you're not, make sure you go there because they get a extra vlog a week and it's literally just me filming by myself, no Ian. It's very like one-on-one, -on -one, very personal. I, there's a lot of information that gets put on there that doesn't get put on the regular channel. So make sure that you go because on there, I have already talked to them about the refeed day and I was literally taking them through what I did on that day. So make sure that you're there to go watch that video because it'll make a little bit more sense. But basically, the refeed day that I did last Saturday went so well. I ended up losing weight, eating more calories, which is what we want, which is awesome. So I was crossing my fingers that when my coach did my check-in that he was gonna have me do it again, and we did which is amazing. So today's Saturday, which normally we don't film on Saturdays, but we are today because I really wanted to share this with you guys. But first, breakfast. Okay, we have, dang it, I need to measure. We got 18 to 20 grams of whey protein. I'm using the first form Formula One. The reason that I use this one is because it's just a little bit lower in calories. One scoop is 100 calories and 21 grams of protein. With this new meal plan where we increased the carbs, we reduced protein just by a little bit. So that's why it's like not a full scoop, it's like almost a full scoop. And then reds and greens. These are both first form. I just put them in way cuter containers because I'd be extra like that. But we have reds, I'm putting it in here so that it's easier to just do this. Reds and greens. These have 50 plus 
fruits, vegetables, grasses. There's also a probiotic blend in there and digestive enzymes so it can help your um, digestion throughout the day and your gut. Also fiber to make sure that you go poo-poos in the day because especially when you're on bodybuilding prep, it's important because a lot of bodybuilders struggle with digestive issues because of how much protein that you're eating and how often you're eating. So making sure that you're regularly going is important. And then this one is glutamine. It's for muscle recovery. All of that goes in here. Then we have, this is why I don't like using this because then I have to like do doubly the work when the other one I can just mix it in. Okay. 21 grams of Rice Krispies. So this is adding carbs to our breakfast. Normally we don't have this on our meal plan day, it's just berries. 21 grams. 21. 21.4? 20.9? Oh. 21.2. <laughs> Hmm? Why is nothing coming out? Okay, honestly, <laughs> that's ridiculous. I ain't that crazy. Now blueberries, we have 55 grams of blueberries. When I make smoothies, I usually add my fruit in frozen because I like my smoothies to be a little bit more cold. I don't really add ice into it because I don't, I don't sometimes I add ice, but eh. I don't know. I like it better with frozen. It makes it taste better in my opinion. 55. <laughs> it makes me think of SpongeBob. <laughs> when Patrick and SpongeBob are in class together and they're laughing about numbers, he goes, Patrick, <laughs> what's funnier than 25? And he goes, 20, 26 or something like that. You, you had to be there. You weren't there. Hey, Patrick. What? I thought of something funnier than 24. Let me hear it. 25. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that's it. Okay. Mix it. Now you have to get a cute cup because why not? These are also from Amazon and they're so adorable. They come with like all the little strawsies. A little lid. No, no, makes it, makes it more fun. Does it all fit? It does. Um. Killed it, nailed it. And that's breakfast. Okay. We are rushing, but what's new? Okay, we're gonna have my pre-workout meal right now. My pre-workout meal is usually a lean protein and just carbs and it's usually the highest amount of carbs that I get for the day. So right now I'm just going to mix between 18 and 20 grams of protein powder so I can just chug it and be quick about it. Pre-workout mixture also. So we can start sipping on that before we head to the gym. Okay, now really, it's just weird. When I do do protein powder, then I don't have anything to like eat my carbs with. So it's just, I'm just gonna eat 180 grams of white rice. And that's basically my meal. And I'm gonna eat it on the way to the gym, in the car, which typically I don't like to do. But today we gotta do what we gotta do. Also, pro tip, keep one of these in your tubs of food so that it's easier to container so it's easier to measure out 145 164 warm this bad boy up and i'm literally just gonna eat it like that so for pre-workout today since it's the morning i'm not gonna do too much in it but what i want i do want a little bit of energy so i'm gonna do a scoop of First Form's Project One. Usually I use Megawatt, uh, but I ran out and I this is what I had left. They're both for energy and focus. That one's just their older one and their Megawatt is like their newer version. 
and then a scoop of EAAs, non-negotiable every time I work out. Sometimes I do a pump product, sometimes I don't. Today's legs, so I don't do a pump product on my leg days because my legs get too inflamed and then it's painful. But I will add a little bit of salt. Salt and water. I'm not gonna add anything to my rice. I'm just gonna eat my rice plain because honestly at this point in prep, everything tastes great. and I got invited to an impromptu posing seminar by um, Marissa Andrews. So I have to like run home really fast to like get my food and then go head there because I have to be there by three. So I'm gonna call Zach and see if he will warm up my meal for me so I can just grab it really quick and like head there. Let's see what he says. Hey baby. Hey. Will you do me a favor? The pans. <laughs> Can you warm up in a to-go container 70 grams of white fish and a hundred grams of my green beans? Do you have a scale to measure its grams, I assume? Yeah, it's on top of the air fryer. There's 70 and a hundred? 70 grams of white fish, 100 grams of green beans. Yep, gotcha. Thank you. I decided to come home first because um, I didn't want to risk, you know, not having my meal with me. So I'm going to come home and change and then go to the posing thing. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll let you see you. I'll be there in five minutes. Bye, bye. Bye. Yes, I got the best boyfriend ever. What's up, hi, my name's Zach. Thank I you, you're the best. <laughs> I got my own personal chef. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, meal number three. I literally have to scarf this down. I am leaving like 12 minutes. Mm -mm. I'm gonna bring my carbs with me. So I can eat them on the way there, which is gonna be two um, rice cakes. I'm so hungry. I'm eating like an animal right now and you guys are probably annoyed. <laughs> See you in the car. We got our rice cakes. We're gonna eat two of these while we drive. I got the caramel ones. These have the least amount of calories. The chocolate ones have the most. I love when I get to have rice cakes, it's so good. But basically, I'm feeling really good today. It's um, every time I have a high carb day, my metabolism is revved up. I'm like hungrier and hungrier, which is a really good sign. Um, <laughs> it's like in between each meal, I'm just like hungry for the next meal. But my body's looking fuller. Everything that's supposed to happen is happening. Yummy. Also, there's something else I want. Oh, I'm sorry today is such like a chaotic and busy day. I would like to say that I'm not normally like this, but who are we kidding? I'm always like this, <laughs> especially during prep because I still have to like continue living life like normal. And then also making sure that I'm getting all my meals in and stuff like that. Today's just a little bit more um, unplanned chaoticism. I made that up. So I will see you at my next meal, which is sushi. Okay guys, we are done with the posing seminar. It went incredible. Got to teach a bunch of wellness girls how to do wellness posing, which I absolutely love doing because posing is such a big part of this industry and bodybuilding because you want to be able to present your physique the best that you can on stage and show your personality. So we're headed home. It's almost 5 p.m. I need to have my meal number four, which is three sushi rolls. So I'm 
just gonna go to HEB and get them from there because today's been a little bit crazy and I just don't wanna be home now because I'm just exhausted but energized at the same time because whenever I get to do the thing that I love and share the thing that I love with other people, I always, of course it's like very tiring, but it like energizes me at the same time because I just get so excited about sharing what I love with other people and finding new people that love it as well. So I'm gonna take you along with me to HB. We are falling a little bit so that we can get sushi. What's up, baby? Hey, baby. What are you doing? I am enjoying being outside. <laughs> I'm gonna stop at HEB to get my sushi rolls. Do you need anything? No, that's okay. All right, bye. All right, love you, bye. Love you, bye. So, I had to get two different ones because there wasn't enough in the first one, so I had to buy an extra one to make sure that I completed the amount that I'm supposed to have. So I can't, I can only have some of the second package, so I'm just gonna cut them, measure them out, and we'll be good, I get to eat it. So good. I'm literally so hungry. It's crazy. Okay, also supplements that we're gonna be taking with it. Right here I got fish oil, liver detox, we have kelp, and then one of my hair, skin, and nails because I like split it up throughout the day. And then my iron supplements as well. Have low. There we go. And then we're gonna have two GDA, which is a glucose disposal agent. We're gonna take, whoop, no. We're gonna take two of those. It helps to make sure that you're properly using the carbs. We use these a lot when we have higher carb meals, especially during peak week. You're gonna see me using this like with every single meal. We're gonna take two of those. Make sure that you move through the carbs, use the carbs wisely in your body, helps with your metabolism. So we're gonna eat this, and I'll see you in the next meal, which is the last meal. Okay guys, Zach fell asleep on the couch, but I'm gonna have my last meal, which is 85 grams of beef, and then some vegetables. The last one is just very, very simple. So, yeah. Mm. That's gonna be it for today's video. I love you all so much. And you're more powerful than you think. <laughs>